Hey guys, I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses if you're watching the video version of this. Um, I am feeling very lost. <laughs> so sometimes when I film these podcast episodes, I script out what I want to say. I make an outline and I typically, you know, have these points that I want. It's a little organized, you know what I mean? A little nerdy. I definitely get an A plus for organization. But today, today... <sighs> is not scripted. And I think this is good. I think sometimes I'm going to do podcast episodes that have no script because it's really good to just vent and speak from the heart, especially when I have topics like this where it doesn't need an outline. Like I genuinely just want to update you guys on things as well as help you guys out if you're going through the same thing I'm going through at the moment. And I think that for some topics, scripting them out just makes it really you know, not the same. So not the same heart to heart feeling. And I want this to feel like I'm just talking straight to you. So today might be a little all over the place warning, um, but I'm really excited for today's episode. Welcome or welcome back to the pod. If you guys are already following, go rate the pod right now. And if you are not following, follow the freaking podcast. I love you guys so much. And these are my favorite things to film. I swear, like I have so much fun making podcasts. Anyway, let's get into what we're talking about today. Today, I am feeling lost and I've been feeling lost for a good amount of time now. And you know, I feel like these podcast episodes are kind of like my therapy. Like I just talk to you guys about what I'm feeling at the moment, or I'll pick a topic that I'm struggling with or that I've struggled with in the past, you know, and I talk about it and maybe that is not healthy to share on the internet, but you know what? You know what? I think it is because pretending that you're okay all the time is not cool and not swag. And I feel like we always have to pretend like we have it together. Like it's, it's weird to come on the internet and say, Hey, I'm not okay you know, like that. People are like, you're oversharing. And I'm like, well, a lot of people are not okay. So what are we doing? Just all pretending to be okay? No, I don't think that's cool and swag. So today I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm feeling so lost in life. Uh, but I also wanted to document me feeling lost because I just realized I was talking really fast. LOL. I do that all the time. I ramble like this. And blah, blah, blah. I literally used to get points off on my school presentations for rambling because I ramble so much. Anyway, I'm going to try to slow down. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I wanted to document me feeling lost because I tend to have a very positive outlook on things in life. And I just want to let you guys know that whenever I'm going through a period of time where I feel really lost. I feel really like I'm having a few mental breakdowns. I'm feeling really anxious. It usually means that something really awesome is about to happen. And that's how I look at it. So I kind of want to document this because I have this feeling that my life's about to change for like for better. Um, and that's how I like to look at things. I'm definitely an optimist and a hopeless romantic and like all of the above. So I think it's a great way to live life because you feel so happy. But even in my worst times, like when I'm feeling so lost, so out of it and disassociating, like feeling really out of sorts and I don't feel like myself and I don't feel like I'm in a groove or like anything good is coming my way. I think that's a sign like when you're at your lowest that good things are coming towards you. So I, I've been feeling really lost. I mean, I probably said that like six times already, but I have. Um, life has been weird and I don't know. I think life's been weird for all of us lately like uh, there's just those times where you're going through like a funk and you know you're struggling with the same couple things like whatever and it's just not going away so I wanted to talk about things that I'm going through hopefully to help you guys out and hopefully because you guys are going through the same thing and then I'm gonna talk about how I'm coping with it so <laughs> uh, so today and in general I've been feeling lost and one of the reasons I've been feeling lost is because of a change of environment. I have been living in LA for two and a half months now almost and I'm moving out soon and I love living here. I love living in LA and there's this there's this battle I'm having internally of like where do I want to go next? Like what do I want to do with my life? Um, I'm always scared of the whole apartment thing, like signing a, a year long lease because I just get terrified. I don't want to commit to something for that long and I want to travel and I want to, you know, move around. I don't want to be tied down to one apartment in one place. So I get a little scared. That's why I've been doing Airbnbs. And if you guys don't know, I have been Airbnb in LA since last November. So it was a really formative 
decision that I made to come here. Basically, I'll tell you guys a story. So when I was last November, I was going through, well, <laughs> I was going through a very bad breakup. I was dating the person for three years. So it was hard. Um, and before I was going through that breakup, I was deciding, should I or should I not go to LA for a month? And it was honestly kind of like a last minute decision to come to LA uh, just because I knew like if I didn't do it before the holidays, basically I wasn't going to go at all. Right. So I was like, okay, that time period from like Halloween to Thanksgiving, I can go to LA and I can fit it in. And then I ended up breaking up with, we broke up. I was dating this person for three years the day before I left. Uh, so not only was it my first time living alone, I was going through a breakup alone, which is insanity. Like I am so proud of myself. I feel like that was such a period of growth for me, but it just shows you that like when you think the world is ending, like there could be things happening to you that are blessings in disguise. I came to LA with no, no one. I didn't know anyone. And I was kind of just like, blind jumping into it, living alone, you know, all the fun stuff. <laughs> and I ended up meeting some of the best people I've met um, that are creators and like just like people that I really love who aren't creators and just I've made, I've done so many cool opportunities since I've been here. And so that was my first month I lived alone. And then I came back to LA January through end of February or January through February, I came back to LA and I lived with Anyella for the first time. And if you guys don't know, Anyella is like my best friend, my roommate, everything. I love her. Um, and I lived with her and then we came back to LA end of February and we've been here ever since. So if you guys cannot tell, moral of the story, I've been in LA for a really long time now. This is probably my fifth month and I love it here so much. Like I love LA, but my lease is ending um, and I'm going home and I just don't know what to do next. I don't know if I should spend more time at home, come back to LA, try a new place. I just don't know. And I think that the, the anxiety of it all, of uh, the unsureness and, you know, just feeling like you don't really belong anywhere is really eating at me lately. And I've been feeling kind of weird about it. That's one thing I've been feeling weird about, honestly. Um, it's hard. It's, it's really weird when you're in your early 20s too, because I just graduated college. When you're in your early 20s, you just feel like you don't belong anywhere. You feel like you outgrew where you grew up. You don't resonate with being in that environment anymore because you kind of need the growth. But when you push yourself to go somewhere that feels uncomfortable, it's terrifying and lonely. And then you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you don't know if you're on the right path. And it's just exhausting to try to figure it all out. So that's how I've been doing <laughs> on that front. Um, I just don't know. I don't know what's next. I will probably come back to LA. I really love it here. And, you know, there's a lot of good opportunities. But I've been talking about this on my Snapchat a lot. And you guys have been giving me great advice. I love you guys for that. But it's just been crazy. And I just wanted to let anybody know who feels like, you know, they're changing their environment you're changing, maybe not even where you physically are, but you're losing like friends or you're changing friend groups or you're changing your, like you're breaking up with somebody. Like if things are changing in your life, everything just feels scary and overwhelming. And I just want to let you know that that feeling of like everything falling apart means that there is so much good coming your way. And that's how I'm choosing to look at it. It's kind of like a blank slate for me right now. So I'm excited, but just scared and nervous overall. And that's one thing that's been kind of eating at me um lately it's just it's a lot it's a lot to take in anyway another thing that I've been kind of struggling with is being alone who would have guessed that for me guys I love being alone you guys know I love being alone I love alone time I think it is so good for you I think it is one of the best things you can do to love yourself is spend time alone and get to know yourself and really value yourself and treat yourself as good as you treat other people spend time alone. You know, I preach this all the time, but I'm struggling with it <laughs> because being alone is the same thing with like confidence, self-love and confidence. It comes and goes. It's not something that stays all the time. And I tell you guys this a lot. You're always going to have insecurities. You're always going to have times where just like you're always going to have insecurities, you're always going to have times where it's really hard to be alone. And this is just one of those times for me. 
I have been struggling to be alone. I've found myself like really gravitating towards spending time with people lately. Like my friend Gabby just visited from Colorado and I was like, I've known her since we were in high school, but she's been living in Colorado and she came to visit me for the past three days and it was just the best time ever. I, there are times in my life where I'm like, I want to be alone. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I, and I really want to just like focus on myself and spend time alone. And I've gone through that. But right now I'm in this phase where I feel like I need people. I don't know what that is, um, but it's different. And I think I just need to put myself back into scenarios where I'm alone until I feel used to it again. I don't know what's been going on, but it ebbs and flows. And I just think that spending time alone is so important and being comfortable being alone is important. But lately I've been kind of searching for validation in people. Like I've been wanting to talk to new people. I, I have been kind of just like searching for that comfort from people outside of myself. And I don't like that because I want to be a whole person on my own. I want to be good on my own. I don't want to need anybody or feel like I need or miss people. And also to be real, when I'm in the state where I miss people so much, I end up reaching out to people from my past who I probably shouldn't. I should probably be moving on and not talking to those people. But it is so hard when you're starting to feel lost and alone, not to kind of resort to your old habits and talk to people who used to be really comforting for you. But at the end of the day, you need to be good on your own without having to reach out to anybody, without needing other people. Obviously, having a support system is good, but you don't want to be dependent on anyone in your life. You need to be good on your own because at the end of the day, you're you're your own best friend. And I say this all the time, but I'm struggling with it lately. So I just want to let you guys know that because I'm not perfect. And a lot of people are like, how do you spend time alone? How do you love yourself? And a lot of people are like, Nikki, your videos make me love myself. Like, I am so happy, but I just wanted to be real with you guys that the reality of the situation is I'm not some person who wakes up every day and loves myself every single day and doesn't find flaws. Like, no one's like that. Even your favorite, like, confidence influencers, whoever, they're not like that. Everyone struggles and everyone is fighting their own little demons. I just started using that phrase recently. (laughs) But everyone's struggling and I don't want you guys to be on your phones looking at all these happy, confident people, including myself, who are preaching, you know, love yourself, spend time alone, do this, do that, and not showing you the other side of things where things are hard. It's not always easy to be alone. It's not always easy to love yourself and you don't always love yourself. And I just want to be real about that because right now I'm in this period of my life where I feel like I've lost my independence a little bit and I want to gain it back. I want to prioritize myself and spend time alone and really get comfortable with that again so that's another thing I've been struggling with and yeah I just wanted to be real with you guys on that I don't know but yeah (laughs) haha I feel like a lot of us get to this point where you let like multiple things kind of build up and weigh on your mind and once you get to that point that's where you start having anxiety all the time and mental breakdowns and you can't sleep at night and like all these things and I have been kind of that point the last few months I've been going like up and down I've been having really good highs and really lows where I just can't sleep at night and I'm like so overwhelmed with life but this is like normal like I have to sit back and kind of remind myself that I'm 22 I'm 22 and when you are in your early 20s This is what people go through. Like, this is so normal. Like, you know, being alone and figuring out your life and, you know, not being around your family as much. And that's overwhelming. And you miss your dog and you want to move out of your hometown and you don't feel like you belong in any new city. Like, it's a lot. It is a lot. But I have to remind myself that this is something that everyone's going through. This is not just a unique experience that I'm experiencing, you know? I don't have to have it all figured out either. That is a huge thing. Okay, breakthrough time. I just realized that I need to start being comfortable with feeling lost. I had this thing before where I would always feel like I need to figure everything out. I need to have everything figured out. And the weight of feeling like, throughout high school, throughout college, throughout now that I need to figure everything out about my life 
tires you out because you can't plan everything down to a T. Nothing will ever go exactly as you planned in life. And so you kind of have to go with the flow. And if you're an anxious person like me, an overthinker like me, that is that feels impossible <laughs> to go with the flow and not try to and not get overwhelmed with everything going on around you. You know, you have to figure out what you want to be doing in life, who you want to be dating, who you, you got to be finding good friends. And at the same time, you're trying to be grown up, but you also feel like a kid. And it's it's so much that I realized recently that it's okay to exist feeling lost. And that gave me like such a relief because I don't have to have it all figured out. And I know that sounds so cliche, like every character in a movie is like, I don't have to have it all figured out. <laughs> Problem solved. But I don't. And it sounds like common sense, but this is something that's been eating at me forever is like, where am I going to live next? What do I want to do next? What's the next project I want to work on? Who do I want my friends to be? Is that person good for me? Should I cut them out of my life? Constantly weighing yourself down with so many decisions and thoughts is counterproductive. And you just, at the end of the day, need to feel comfortable with being lost and not having everything figured out. You need to feel like, okay, I don't have everything figured out, but that is what everyone else in the world is going through. Because guess what? The people on your Instagram feed, the people on your TikTok feed who have these like, they're showing off the best parts of their life. They're showing off, you know, everything that makes them look good. And they're not BFFR. They're not being for real. Like none of that is real. It's all a facade and we fall for it. Like, even though we all know social media is fake, we all still fall for it. We all look at our phones and feel depressed. We all compare ourselves to that cute couple on our For You page. We all think we're not good enough or think we don't have enough done at this point in our lives. And it's like, stop putting yourself on a timeline. Stop trying to figure out the puzzle that is your life right now because you won't. You won't because the pieces are always changing and you just need to feel comfortable in that you're fine. You don't need to have it figured out and you're going to be okay. That's the bottom line. You're going to be okay even if you don't have it figured out because you're going to figure it out when you need to and everything's going to be fine. Whoa, this is crazy. This is making me feel better about myself. Like I... This is why I love doing these podcasts because talking things out in some weird way like helps me with what I'm dealing with right now. Like talking to you guys, it just clicks things for me too because it makes me feel like I'm talking about my problems as if they were someone else's. Like I'm talking to you guys because I know you guys might be going through the same thing. So I'm also trying to give advice at the same time. And I give great advice, but I do not follow great advice. So when I'm talking to someone else, I can give them great advice. But when it's myself, I can't. So something about these podcasts is like super helpful for me too. And I just love doing these. I don't know. That's just, honestly, that's, that's everything that's been on my mind recently. I, I don't know, just big changes. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough in life. And that is the most overwhelming, draining feeling is feeling like I'm not doing enough because Then when I try to do things, I am so hard on myself and I'm like, you're not doing this right. You need to be doing more. You need to be, you know, you should have had this done by now in your life. You should have accomplished more than this already. And oh my gosh, I wish I could just shut out that voice in my head. And I wish I could shut out that voice in all of your guys' heads because we are so mean to ourselves when we don't need to be. And no one, no one in your life is, maybe someone is, maybe someone's toxic, but for the most part, no one in your life is telling you that you should have had things done already in your life. No one's going to be so hard on you except for you saying like, oh, you should have been done with this already. You should have been on to the next thing. You should have been accomplishing this and this already in your life. Like, why are we like that when no one on the outside is really being that hard? I think it's something about being an overachiever that you just feel like you need to have everything figured out. So I don't know if that's just like a my personality thing or if you guys also feel this way, but I always feel like I need to overachieve and I should have been way more successful younger. And I mean, these are just very vulnerable things that I am like very really struggling with. And I hope that this is okay for you guys that we are getting so real because I think it's so important to just not be fake and 
I think it's so important to just not fall into the trap of smiling on camera, smiling for the camera, being your best self on social media, you know, posting the highlights of your life, which is so normal to want to record the best moments of your life. But like, I wish we were all more real about things. And so I'm going to be real about things and I'm going to tell you guys, you know, how it actually is. This is my life right now. Is it perfect? No, it's amazing. I love my life. I feel like, you know, there's so many things that I'm proud of myself for, but it's the overachiever in me that's like, you need to be doing more. You didn't do enough. And it's hard. It's really hard when you're, you're the only person discounting your own success and, you know, making yourself feel like you're not good enough. So if you're like that right now, you know, with school, with your career, with anything, with life in general, with, you know, you feel like you should be in a relationship by now, whatever it is, you're doing fine. And your timeline is your timeline for a reason. And it's hard to sit back and remember. (laughs) It's hard to sit back and remember that, but your timeline is your timeline for a reason. You're set on your path in life for a reason. And trying to figure things out and trying to have everything figured out is, you're never going to do it. So, I mean, honestly, a lot of the stuff I just realized helped me a lot. So I hope that it was able to help you guys. I love you guys so much and I hope you have, there's a man outside my window. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I hope this podcast, this podcast was different and I hope it was helpful, but let me know what you guys think because sometimes I'm so scared and I'm like, are they going to like this? I don't know. I'm not talking about dating advice today, so maybe they won't like this, but I hope you guys don't mind when I just am real with you guys and I don't know. I feel like so long in my social media career, I've been kind of pushed into doing, you know, very crush related stuff and I love doing that stuff too. Like there's so many things that I want to pass on to you guys that I wish I knew sooner about that kind of stuff, but I also, you know, want to want our fam to be about other things and so I hope that this is okay that I'm being real with you guys and I hope that this helps you guys out this is such a real problem (laughs) so I don't know I know you guys are going through it and I hope that we can just be real with each other and if you guys want to talk about anything in the comments I'm always going to reply to you guys I read all of your comments literally snapchat instagram every reply I get tiktok I read everything so I love you guys and I will reply to anything. If you guys want to talk, let me know. And thank you guys for being here for me too. I don't know what I'd do without our fam, honestly. You guys are literally my best friends. I, I literally know people say that and the creators don't mean it. I've met so many creators that just like don't care about the people that watch their videos. I care about you guys so much because my little muffins. <laughs> and I love you guys, bestie boo. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, Thank you so much for listening. Follow the pod. And if this is your first time listening, follow the pod and go rate the pod. If you're already following the pod, then go rate it. Leave a rating. I love you guys. Um, yeah. And send this to your friends. You know, that would be cool. I really love doing these podcasts, so I want to keep doing them. I love you guys. And I said, I love you like 7 million times, but thank you for listening. Forehead kiss. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Let me know what you want to see next. Okay. Bye.